Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to analyze the uh, Likert scale and especially the five point Likert scale uh, producing A spaces output and uh, uh, paste it to your research paper in this format and you can even interpret it according to uh, the descriptions that I'm going to uh, give you. So as you can see, uh, here is a five-point Likert scale of uh, attitudes to, to, towards distance education in Morocco. And you can see the statements. We have statement number one, two, three, and four. And you have the number of the uh, population uh, and the minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we are going to. Uh, I'm going to show you how to to do this uh, in your case, and even the interpretation. What we are going to interpret is the mean. So you have first to uh, have your uh, Likert scale coded as follows: five strongly agree, four agree, three neutral, two disagree, and one strongly disagree. This order is very important in coding the data. And then uh, you, you can analyze this mean. For example, uh, the mean is very significant from 1 to uh, 1, uh, 8. It means strongly disagree. From 1 to uh, 81, uh, 1.81 to 260, it means disagree. From 261 to 340, it means neutral. And from, from 3 to 41 to uh, 420, it means agree. And from 4, 21 to 5 it means strongly agree so it depends uh, depending on the type of scales whether it is five point or uh, four point or uh, seven points i'm going to share with you an excel uh, file so that has the interpretation of each uh, scale as you can see here is the description disagree neither agree or uh, uh, disagree agree etc and we have the interval length etc etc i'm going to share with you this file just for interpretation in case you need it okay so uh going back to spaces i'm going to show you how i generated the table so here is the questionnaire and we have a, a four item uh, record scale i'm going to go to uh, analyze descriptive statistics uh, descriptive and i'm going to uh, put these uh, items uh, here in this uh, column here I'm going just to copy and paste them okay I'm going to show you how you select anyone you, you keep clicking on control you could select it uh, like this and then you click on this arrow and once you have them in this uh, column you are going to uh, click on option and choose the mean the standard deviation click on the mean standard deviation minimum and maximum we can have variable less display order so i'm going to click on continue so in the output because i already have the output here here is the output so descriptive statistics and we have the statements and we have the number population minimum maximum mean and standard deviation we're going to click and uh, left click and uh, click again on copy we go to our research paper and uh, paste the uh, the table okay here is the table i already formatted it uh, in apa size 7 edition i'm just going to make small modifications you put the tight uh, table uh, number table 2 for example okay so you can see here the, here are the statements and here is the number of population minimum maximum mean standard deviation and you can make your interpretation for example statement one in uh, technical assistance uh, 3.8 and if we go back to the uh, this description 3.8 means <coughs> mainly somewhat disagree or in five point Likert scale here uh, 3.8 it means neither agree nor disagree to some extent okay so uh, depending on the mean you can make the interpretation that is the central tendency that is the majority of students what the majority of students reported for example or participants so then then you can you keep uh, interpreting these results uh, below as you can see i'm going to share with you these documents and this is the easiest way to interpret a five point Likert scale or any type of Likert scale 
Uh, it's an easy way. By the way, Likert scale was developed by Rensis Likert, 1932. Uh, two. Uh, he was a social psychologist who developed this scale. Uh, that's it. If you have questions or remarks, uh, do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial.